We've been doing a lot of yard work outside, like days and days and days of yard work after those heavy winds. We had a tree knocked down, so we've been working on burning our tree. Our neighbor came over with his backhoe to help us to get a tree stump taken care of because it's completely rotted and it is just kind of an eyesore. Problem with that is we didn't realize how far down, how deeply rooted this stump is. Like we didn't think it was going to be so hard to get this tree stump taken out. Um, and something on his backhoe broke, like popped when he was trying to move it. So that's why his backhoe is actually still parked in our front yard. Um, and we are, came up with a different method for getting rid of that tree. Since he dug a little bit around the tree with the backhoe trying to dig out the, the stump, we're going to use that, put some dry leaves in there, sticks and stuff, and make that a burn pile and burn down the stump of that tree. We have a few other trees that we need to get rid of on the property and we're making decisions slowly lately. I think it's because we've been spending so much time outside just trying to clean up and we've only been working in the front yard and the front yard is huge. Um, we have so much more to do in the front, but our neighbors have been fantastic. They are the best neighbors that I think I've ever had. Um, coming down to help us with our yard work and trying to get us all situated so that the girls have a place, a safe place to, to play in the yard. I mean, the yard is the main reason why we bought this house why we bought a smaller house with more land so that the girls could go outside and play in the yard. And our front yard is bigger than the, than the property that both Justin and I grew up on combined. I think we both each had a half acre of land in, the, in our family houses where we grew up. So I think the front yard, we don't even know for sure yet the size of the front yard, but it at least has to be an acre. So combined, that takes care of, like that is the size that Justin and I grew up on. Anyway, so there's a lot of projects happening all at once. Um, sometimes we jump into new projects without finishing projects that we've already started just because we get inspired and just jump right in. And today, Justin is working on taking some things to the dump. He's going to also pick up some Thing for a mini project that I'm going to share with you as well and it involves the girl's favorite tree which is on the side of the house and today he started because he's going to make a dump run he started to clean out the shed because the shed in the back we believe somebody lived in once before and um because it was set up with like a bed a tv and like a dresser and all that stuff and there was electricity running to the shed um the thought before we moved in was to turn that into a playhouse for the girls, but it is like a condemned, condemned piece of a, a condemned building, I guess you could say. So the plan now is to take everything out of the shed as much as he can, a little bit at a time, tear down the shed and have more space in the backyard there. There is a lot going on around here these days. So I'm just going to show you right now what Justin is working on with the shadow. So this is the shed that I was telling you about. You can see like down here it's kind of rotted. The, shit, the siding's coming off. And we're gonna slowly work on clearing it out. But let me give you a peek of what it looks like on the inside. Peek, peek. Hold on, please. Hello, peek, peek, peek. Hello, peek, peek, peek. Hello, you can go back what you were doing. So here is the board. Not open, so I guess I'm not showing you anything about the shed because I can't open the door. But that is the 
power source that runs to the shed. Hold on. Alright, this is the gorgeous shed. You can see that there is a, a luxurious three TVs. Oh, no, not yet. Hold on, I gotta focus. There's poop everywhere. I gotta focus. Okay. So there's poop everywhere, which is, you know, I guess it's a fixer over. There's three TVs because we're filled with luxury. Bit proxy. There's a desk. That painting is an original. Might want to be saved. That chest is basically on its last legs, which is a shame. Uh, there's a box of cool tapes in there that I would actually like to keep if they weren't terrifying. Oh, here. This is for Danielle. Life or death. Notorious B.I.G. Life after death. Life after death. <laughs> and up top and the floor just rotted out. This would have been a neat little shed for things. day here at the cottage and that is because we are getting our ride on mower finally today I can't even tell I can't even tell you how excited that we all are to be getting this piece of equipment for our 10 acres of land it is long overdue we have been raking in anticipation of this day we purchased it on saturday and it's getting delivered today like i said hopefully sometime soon it's already almost lunchtime the girls and i have been working this morning on our homeschool tasks and we only have one more subject to do after lunch and then they are free for the day let me show you and uh, give you an idea of what we need this ride on mower for. So this weekend we um, spent, well first I used the weed whacker to take care of everything in this backyard. And this is just one little section that I'm showing you right now. I have to stay inside because I am cooking lunch. But so we used the weed whacker and then I came through and raked and this yard has not been raked in ages. We had um, a neighbor help us bush hog it when we first arrived over the summer, but we didn't pick up anything after that because we didn't even have a rake at that point in time. So we, you may remember that we also cleared out a whole bunch of weeds on our own. So yesterday and the day before, Justin, I was raking, um, weed whacking and clipping the tall plants around the edges. You see there, like there's a tall plant right there, but it's on the other side of the fence. But there were plants like that, weeds like that, all over the fence line. So I raked, Justin pulled out like at least five stumps from trees or weeds that there were weeds that looked like trees justin said i think they were trees but he says that they were weeds um, but basically we're going to come in with the ride on mower and take care of all of these piles get them cleaned up we also purchased our greenhouse uh over the weekend which we 
is another thing that we desperately need because our current laundry room is turning into a greenhouse room. I'm glad that we haven't, we didn't have everything set up outside yet though because we are encountering a frost today and tomorrow and it's after the final frost date. So thankfully we haven't set up our garden or anything outside. We're still starting seeds inside under a grow light. Um, and I think we finally decided on where we want our garden to go, finally. Um, and I plan on sharing that with you soon, because that's going to be a big project that we have to undertake. Don't mind my hair. I washed it, and I let it air dry before I blow dry it, because I have very thick hair. And if I, blew, if I like use the hair dryer to blow dry it, it would take ages to do my hair. So I'm just... Letting it air dry so it looks a little messy right now, but that's just life. So, once this tractor, once this tractor, once this ride on mower gets here, we are going to get to work on finishing up cleaning up the yard. After we clean up the yard back here, we're going to move to the front and pick up those leaf piles as well. And then we're going to talk to a neighbor about taking down some trees on our property so we don't have to worry about so many leaves. And also they're kind of dangerous. They could fall on our garage and our house and we need to take care of those trees right away. So that is what's going on here today. I'm gonna to get back to making lunch and then as soon as the ride on mower gets here, I'm going to share that with you. In the buggy. We've got three big tool purchases or equipment purchases came and got delivered today. One, we got our greenhouse, which is awesome. And two and three kind of go together. We finally got our mower to help us tame this 10 acre um, piece of land. So we are all really excited that we got the mower finally. It's in our barn because we're having some trouble with our ooh, I just saw a huge spider web we're having which I'll show you I'm having uh, some trouble with our garage door keeping that closed but the cool thing is we've been wanting to have one of these for for ever since we got the house because when we came here most of you know this whole this whole property was like a jungle so now this is going to help us make it a fun, safe place for the girls to run around and for our, not an eyesore, for our next door neighbors and whoever drives by. And also um, just help us take more advantage of the 10 acres that we have. So we're all very excited that the mower's here. And we also got an attachment, like a buggy attachment instead of a wheelbarrow. Um, so the girls are really excited to go on rides in that buggy around the, the property. 
Another cool thing is that we got our greenhouse and we figured out a place to put our garden finally, I think. Um, so we are going to have that set up and that is a project that we are definitely going to share with you here as well. For now, I have to go talk to Justin about more about the greenhouse project, but let me show you this spider web first. Never mind, there's no way you could see this spider web, but it takes up like the whole corner of the entryway into the barn. We also have some visitors or some occupants. Our barn up here has some birds' nests. I don't even know if you could see that. You probably can't see them. But up here, when you first walk into the barn, this part right here, there's a whole line of birds' nests right up there, which I think is pretty cool. All right, now on to talk to Justin about that other project. How are you guys kids? Is it fun? Rabbit, rabbit, and jump on a cliff.